Okay, today we're gonna talk about the Noveski KX3. This is the flash suppressor Noveski makes. This one here is uh, 7.2 ounces, 1.35 in diameter, and 3.28 overall length. Now this one here is for a 5.56223, so this one is threaded half by 28. They do make one that is threaded 5 eighths by 24. I, I took it apart the first break the actual when I first took it apart it was kind of hard once it came apart it unscrews very very easily um, it does come lubed you can see where the, it has a cone shape to it. it has a step down here and this reason is so carbon carbon buildup doesn't get onto your threads and you won't have a hard time unscrewing it now the front portion of the inside portion is also tapered the flash suppressor itself is a straight wall it's straight all the way across it is stepped down once you pass the threads it is stepped down a little bit you can feel it if you stick your finger in here it takes a three quarter inch wrench so you can uh, either tighten it or loosen it onto your uh, weapon there now once you screw it back on and tighten it you have to make sure that the lines meet up it comes with a safety snap ring the part the lower portion of the leg here of your snap ring goes into that line and then it goes on there and that's to keep it from it breaking loose and twisting as you're firing the weapon um, it also comes with a uh, crush washer packaged in a little ziploc bag now um, it is a flash suppressor but I'm interested in finding out if it's actually going to reduce any noise since it is a hollow flash suppressor and it does have a cone shape in the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, install it on my SBR and take it down to the range and see if it actually makes a difference in sound. Um, hopefully it, it we can tell the difference. I'm also going to see if I can shoot it late evening and see if we actually can make a difference in if it shuts the flash sooner or faster or what what actually does it actually perform so uh, we'll definitely get back to you guys with some kind of results on on the testing we do on this Okay, we just came back from shooting the, the Noveski KX3. We used a AR-15-223 with a 10 and a half inch upper. Now, the Noveski did its job. It actually suppressed the flash. You can see it in the video that it would go forward and it would shut off right away versus your typical flash suppressor that, or the birdcage that everybody's used to seeing. On this one here, on the birdcage one, uh, you could see where it would give its triangulars kind of a view where it would go up and then it would shut off and on the Noveski it would just go forward and shut off right away. You can also see where the blast was going forward it was being directed forward and on this one here you can see where it was being directed to the sides. So this one here was intended to for the person that's standing next to you either left or right of you doesn't get that blast or sound signature going out to the sides. So overall I think the I think it did very very well the only thing that I did notice was that uh, it would it would kick me back. It seemed like it had a little bit more of a muzzle lift or a little bit more of a pushback on the Noveski versus the other the other style. Now I did open it up and I only shot about 20 rounds through it, and uh, it has quite a bit of carbon buildup. It doesn't have like a lot of chunks or anything, so it's an it's something that you guys might take in consideration where. It might need to be cleaned um, sooner than you guys guys think. It just depends on how many rounds you guys shoot through it. But I think the product is very well very well worth the money. It doesn't add any weight to your to your rifle or weapon. So uh, besides that, I think uh, it was great. I appreciate you guys seeing our videos.